what's up everyone uh it's nori uh just here making a quick video about 10 900 uh k uh direct eye cooling uh a couple weeks ago i made a post uh just sharing some of my results uh with uh what kind of a difference i saw uh going to direct dye uh i saw on a 10 900 k which i overclocked to 5.1 gigahertz I saw an average of 12 degrees uh, Celsius drop across all cores, uh, which was right in line with which with what I normally saw on a 9900K. Uh, but some people have been asking me, what am I using? Well, I, I tell, been telling them a Spitz power bracket right here. Uh, this has been around for a while. It's originally designed for the eighth gen CPUs. Uh, it's very simple, nothing complicated. Uh, as you can see here, uh, just holds the CPU in place on the four sides. Uh, you can reuse two of the screws. Uh, the third screw you need to replace because the third screw, the third stock screw is, uh, is too tall and it has a big flange uh, which will stick out and it will probably prevent you from uh, using your cooler. Uh, the screw thread size is nothing special. It's a, a number six uh, dash 32 UNC. Uh, this is the same type of thread screw uh, that you normally see on your PCIe slot. So basically the, real, the little screw that uh, holds down your GPU, uh, that's the same thread. Uh, you could take one to your local hardware store. Uh, I normally get these little button head screws because they look nice and they'll fit uh, anywhere. With that being said, uh, this bracket uh it works really well because again it was made for eighth gen as you can see here uh I'm on each i'm on the metal bracket and it's colliding with the die which is a good sign that means that the die is is taller than the bracket uh depending on your board manufacturer uh you might have to uh trim down the corners uh this was nothing new uh i think kyle from hard ocp he originally did a video a long time ago about that uh, sometimes the, the plastic is way taller than the actual die. Um, and again, uh, it's, it, you know, it's nothing complicated. Normally what I do is I install this and I'll get a X-Acto knife. And with the sharp edge pointing out, I'll push out trimming uh, the little plastic. And again, you do all four corners uh, and that's it. You know, you're ready to go. Um, do uh, Be careful though. Uh, not every die, uh, block is made for direct die or is compatible with it. Uh, this is the Optimus Signature V2. As you can see here, it, it works fine. Uh, and it works fine because of one main reason. It is perfectly square. Uh, where you'll see an issue, specifically on the Asus boards or boards that have a lot of these uh, capacitors. Uh, these capacitors are normally clear uh, on a stock CPU, because the stock CPU with IHS is obviously taller. But when you're doing direct die, your cooler is sitting lower. So on a cooler like this, uh, this water block is perfectly fine because it clears. But if I use, let's say one of the most popular blocks around, the Heat Killer 4, it also fits fine. But it fits fine when the ports are both uh, up and down. If I move it to this position, I am now colliding. The block is sitting on the caps. And it's very hard to tell, but you can see that it's crooked. This, If you're doing this with the motherboard and the CPU installed, installed in the case, you will not see this. This could be catastrophic because you will probably not be making any contact with the CPU die. And if the CPU die doesn't have any contact when you turn it on, you'll probably end up damaging uh, your CPU. So be careful with that. Uh, I know the Acer Tech because the Acer Tech is round and it's big. The Acer Tech coolers, the closed loop coolers, they also usually will not work with these Asus boards, the Z390 and the Z490. So just a heads up. Uh, if you're not comfortable 
on the direct die, you know, trimming these edges. I understand, you know, the little plastics. Uh, I believe the Bauer should be coming out with his direct die bracket very soon. And knowing the Bauer, that thing is going to be perfect with zero modification needed. So, uh, the Bauer should have a solution ready for you. Uh, folks, uh, 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 thank you. Uh, I'll be making some videos on and off, you know, for some stuff I'm seeing, you know, in the, you know, the overclocking community or the water cooling community. Uh, if you like, uh, subscribe, like, share, etc. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, take care and stay Rona free, everybody.